Welcome everybody to our Voyager Media High School football preview show. Here along with Mark Gregory, I'm Scott Taylor. Uh, we have a list of games we're going to be going over. These are all the games for the upcoming week. We'll be making our picks on those in a minute. But first, let's talk about some of the big games this week. First of all, none other, none other than our game of the week, which is Joy Catholic Academy at Notre Dame. And Mark, uh, you're going to be out there at that game. Talk a little bit about that. I'll be up in Nile for that one, yeah. Uh, it should be a great game. A couple, you know, running teams. Um, you know, both come off of, off of different uh, games, or different outcomes last week. Uh, Jay State with the big, you know, last second finish, um, a 75-yard touchdown by Ty Isaac, uh, and then you know Notre Dame lost a hard one, you know, to, to Maris, 35-21. But uh, you know their quarterback uh, Nick Piercini, you know, three touchdowns on the ground, so should be a good good ground battle again this this week. Yeah, and uh, the game I'll be at will be playing for North of Lockport. Should be a great game. It was a couple few years ago when they played each other. Obviously, all new teams this year. But the big key of that game is the running game. Uh, Taylor from uh, Lockport and Jay Roberts from Plainfield North will be going head to head, replacing stars from uh, last year's team. So that should be a, a doozy of a game. Yeah, and uh, you know another one that, that should get a lot of high, high play is the uh, Wheaton Warrenville South and Main South. Uh, last year, this was the ESPN game game of the week for high school. Uh, not this year. Uh, Wheaton Warrenville South was on ESPN last week. Where they lost, you know, twenty-one-seven to, to their rival Glenbard West. Maine South's coming off a win, so uh, let's see if they can stop Wheaton South or tailback Dan Vitale the way Glenbard West did. They they have a chance to win this game too. The other big game is Downer South at Lions. Lions was a lead A team last year, coming off a win over Stevenson, who was a fellow lead A team. Downer South looked really good in their opener against South Elgin. Uh, can Josh Williams run for another three hundred yards? They, they, they might need it to to beat a good Lions team. That's kind of, well, you know, th those are only four of our games. We have a whole list of them here, and so let's see if uh, you and I agree on anything here. Uh, start off with the top game here, Niles West and Niles North. Uh, you know, what do you think on, uh, on this one? Niles West, uh, tough law, or one last week, actually, but used eight interceptions. Crazy, eight interceptions to win that one. Even though Niles West is one of our schools, I'm picking Niles North. Well, I guess we're going to start off disagreeing right away. I don't think they're, they're going to get eight picks, but I'm definitely going to take West on this one. And uh, I think Niles West goes to 2-0. Uh, Batavia, Plainfield East, what do you see in this one? I just don't see Plainfield East. I mean, they're, they're still a young school. They got roughed up a little bit by Batavia Valley last week. And Batavia, you know, they were a 5-5 five five team last year, but they're you know, always a program that, that can rise to the occasion. I see Batavia Rio rising back up this week and, and beating East. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. You lose in Batavia Valley, but Batavia beats, uh, beats down a 12-2 team from last year, uh, Marmion Academy. i got to go with Batavia as well. well we agree. Let's have a, but this one here, Downers North, Downers North hosting Morton. Uh, Downers North gave Lockport a good game last, last week, and uh, I really think that they're going to come out and play again this week. I think that Downers North gets their first one of the season. You know, they got Riley McGinnis. Quarterback second year, he threw for over 200 yards last week. I'm going to agree with you on this one as well. I think Downers North is going to get this one. They need to win this one. If they want to have any chance to make the playoffs, this is a game they have to have. I'm picking Downers North as well. What about Bolingbrook Belleville East? This is a huge game as well. A huge game for, for the Brook. I mean, came off a commanding win at Playfield South last week. They had a four hour bus trip, but I think that they, that's not, not going to impact them at all. They're going to get off the bus, they're going to get off the bus running, they're going to get off the bus passing. Aaron Bailey is going to take care of them. And uh, the Brook will prevail. I got a question though. Last year was 31 to 8, Belleville East coming up to Bolingbrook and winning that game. Did one of those teams get 23 points better or 23 points worse? And plus, it being a Belleville East. You know, I saw the Bowling Road team last year, last week. They look really good, but you know what? It's going to be hard to play at there. Belle Valise is a state semifinalist last year. I think a great game. This might be. A, this could be a great one. I'm going to go with Belle Valise. All right. Well, Scott, we got Chicago Edmondson coming up in a travel over to Maine East there, and yeah, had a tough one against Shores last week. What do you think that the? Uh... Well, let's see. Edmondson played Plainfield Central last week. Lost pretty good, but they did score a couple touchdowns, which. Uh, Normally for a, a Chicago public school, if you score a couple of touchdowns against a, a bigger school like a Plainville Center, you're doing okay. Maine East lost to Chicago Shures last week, a, a public school team. I hate to do this. I hate it. I gotta go with Edmondson. Scott, up until the schedules came out this year, I never heard of Edmondson. So if I haven't heard of a team, I can't. I, I find it hard to pick pick them. So sorry, Edmondson. I never heard of you before. I'll go coach Gabe Corey and Maine East. That's a big win. They got to get that win. 
Uh, down or south, the Lions, obviously, this is a great game. You saw a little bit of that last yeah. week. Uh, I'll talk about what do you see this week. I think Josh Williams is just head and shoulders above a lot of the teams that, that he plays. And if it's a game that's going to be you know, on the ground, which it is, because Lions is a running team, too, I'm going to put my, my money on Josh Williams eight out of ten times when he's going to the ground, and I will be taking down or south. You know, I'm, uh, I feel bad not picking these four intermediate <laughs> teams here, but you know what? i gotta, I got to pick what I believe in. Lions, uh, Lions has proved more in the past. They both had nice wins this past week, but until Down or South proves they had a passing game, it's like pre bibs all over again from last year. A good team will know how to stop the run. I think Lions is a good team that knows how to stop the run. I'm going to go with Lions, and we're probably just going to be Down or South's only loss of the year, or in their season at least. All right, Scott, well, then we get to Manuka hosting Providence. Uh, Manuka and Coach Coy up their schedule so much th th this year that they made it tougher. Um, here's Providence, a team that struggled last year, two wins, went to Soldier Field last week and, you know, beat a Morgan Park team who's, who, who, you know, everybody transferred out. Um, I think the Celtics are going to come in to, to Manuka. They're going to be flying high. They're going to be, 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 be ready to go. They'll be thinking that, that, that they're unstoppable, and then they're going to get stopped. Indian Nation will prevail. Manuka. We'll not knock off the mighty Celtics. You know what? For a person that hates on the SPC like you do, I'm surprised you would make that <laughs> pick. But you know what? The SPC's got to prove something too. They had a rough week last week. It was a really rough, rough week for the SPC. I don't have to say prove it to me before I can pick you. Providence has proven it can win on the road or can win anywhere against big teams. Probably had two I'm wins last week. Last week they had two wins. Yeah, against competition that's better than Oswego East. Right? Yeah, maybe. All right, well, hey, let's stay in the SPC here for a little while, Scott. Take, uh, t take away Playful Central, St. Charles North. Who do you got in this one? You know what? Playful Central is my sleeper team this year, and this is the this is the SPC upset right now. I think Playful Central is going to go up, take the hour bus drive, go up to St. Charles North, who also lost la who lost last week. And I think Playful Central is going to go 2-0. They need it. This is a big game for them. They want to make the playoffs this year. I got Playful Central. You know, Scott, I was debating this one. I, I was going back and forth in this one. You know, you, we don't know much about St. Charles. No, I, I don't. We, we, I used to work up there, but you know what? I'm going to give the John Jackson this week and Timmy Blake. I, I think I think Blake's going to come and go up there, and I think he's going to take him. I, I think I agree with you on this. I think Plainfield Central will, will win. Yes, that's two SPC teams that are just picked. Oh, I, is it going to be three? Plainfield North of Lockport. I don't know. Maybe we have to skip a game. <laughs> but uh, this, I think this might be the most exciting game of the week. I'm, I, I'm glad I'm going this game because I really think it's going to be a last-second game. What's your take? I just think... Uh, Playful North, you know, minus Capri, Bibbs, Kurt Poundax, nice and all. And uh, no homer bias here because, you know, I am a porter at heart. But I think uh, Coach McKillop and Dexter, Dexter Taylor got him going. And uh, I'm taking the porters. Quarterback's coming back this week, right? Yes, Billy Reed is expecting to be back. Uh, oh. Yeah, not sure if he will, but he's, he's, he's planning on being back. Well, you take that one. Uh, it's going to be a doozy of a game. Playful North has shown it can go and, and face some solid teams and, and perform well. I think I think this team's just got too many athletes for Lockport to handle. Uh, having a first a quarterback playing his first game is a lot different than a quarterback playing his second game. I think that's gonna make a difference. I think playing Field North in overtime, overtime. Uh, Reed was a starter last year, so he's not playing his first game. Yeah, but it's his first <laughs> game this year. Got to knock some rust. That'll be all right. All right, Scotty. Well, here's a game where I'm definitely gonna step outside the SPC, and uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a we we'll gamble on this one here. We got Plainfield South heading to Joliet West. Joliet Central failed last week in, in their stadium opener, their brand new stadium. West Dave's been there before, but you know, the turf's out there. Uh, you know, Coach Aubrey tweeted just just on, on Thursday that they're you know, all ready. They're turf hungry. They're on the they practice for the first time on the turf on Thursday. I think the Tigers are gonna come out. They're hosting Plainfield South. Both teams are in Joliet, people, so this is a, a crosstown rival. And I think the Tigers are, are going to come off and get this win. I'm picking Joliet West. I don't know about that one, Mark. Uh, Plainfield South handled Joliet West last year. I know it's two different teams. Joliet West probably a little bit better. Plainfield South probably not quite as good. Well, Sheldon McGee's coming back. But are they 30-some points different from last year? Is it uh, Really? Seriously? Yeah, Sheldon no. McGee's not here no more. No. Plainfield South by at least two scores. You'll see that game tomorrow. You can call. You can text me during the game when it's when it's third, 28, to, uh, 28 to 14 or something like that. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, next game, uh, I mentioned Joliet Central couldn't uh, couldn't go and, and, and win their their home opener on their new turf. They have another chance at home against Romeoville, who really you know had everything in their grasp last week and just you know, couldn't get it done against Hinsdale South. Scott, what do you got? I gotta go with Romeoville in this one. It's gonna be tough for Joliet Central. There's not many opportunities for wins. This this might be one of their better chances. 
the Romeoville press for is just too strong, and I think uh, the defense is a much improved defense from last year. I think Romeoville's going to take this pretty easily. I don't know about easily. I think uh, the, the way Joey Essential moved the ball last week, um, they showed that they can sustain drives. It's all those two-way players, though. They just get tired, and I do agree. I think you know, when push comes to shove in the end, the Spartans are going are gonna to win this one. Now, of course, the, a couple of their biggest games, we Warnerville South and Maine South. Last year, we Warnerville South took them to the shed. What do you see this week? I see pretty much not quite the same thing, but I, I definitely see the Tigers winning this one again. I think uh, I think you know Wheaton South was embarrassed by their big rival Gilbert West on ESPN. They're going to come off this one, and you know as I said before, Maine South as good as, as good as they are, the odds are going to come back to get them this year. I think the odds are going to get them, you know, for winning the four four straight. And the odds are going to get them in this one. Wheaton Warrenville South, Dan Vitale will have a better game this week than he did. I think Wheaton Warrenville South. Coach Mika sure going to win that one. You know what? This is a toss up to me. I picked Maine South as our best team. I think they're going to win it all again this year in 8A. However, we in Warrenville South 7A. Teams in 7A are superior than teams in 8A. That's it's pretty, pretty much sure. across the board. You got the St. Rita's, you got Glenbar West, you got tons of 7A teams with talent. The quarterback's gone. That leaves me a question mark. Obviously, he only scored seven points last year, last week. I think uh, losing him is going to be a big loss. Uh, oh, boy. And Maine South. You know what? Game ain't south. I think LBO will get it done. I think it's going to be a great game. I, I really don't know about this game. This is going to be a total toss-up, I think, to me. But I think Maine South going to pull it out at home. Well, that is what I'll be at this week. Uh, JCA at, at Niles Notre Dame in our, in our game of the week. Uh, Scott, I mean, what do you think of this one? You can go first. I got something for you. All right. Well, I think uh, they're going to come, come off the bus, and I just don't see – any way that, that Notre Dame is going to stop, stop JCA. Ty Isaac did it last week. This week, you know, go ahead and flip that side to Ty Isaac. Malin Jones, who did have a good game last week, you know, was very capable of putting the same numbers Ty did last week. I think in, in, in a no-brainer, I think JCA is definitely... No-brainer, huh? 14-point game last week, Notre Dame against Marist. Marist is a pretty darn very good team, 8A. Yes. I take 8A over 5 I think Marist and JCA are pretty much washed. They played pretty close to each other the last couple of years. So now you move this game to Notre Dame, a long hour bus drive. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> this is going to be a doozy. Notre Dame's going to be in it, I think, to the fourth quarter. I think JCA will win the game, hold them off. But I think this is going to be closer than the experts predict. JCA in a close one. All right, well, there you have it. There's our picks for this week. Um, if you agree with us, disagree with us, go ahead and you know, shoot us an email at the address here on the bottom of the screen. Email Scott, email myself. Let us know what you agree with or disagree with. And until next time when we come back and tell you if we were right and if we were wrong, keep watching.